One love family, Jesse Tree here. It's one of my favorite trees. The pine. This is a pinon pine. And I just wanted to share about a few respiratory herbs for you all you breatharians and lovers of the breath. Pine is a wonderful respiratory herb, high in terpenes. So we're gonna talk about terpenes today because the terpenes all are wonderful uh, digestive respiratory neuroplasticizers so there's a whole healing path for all of your tree right you know here we got the this emblem of the tree but this corresponds also to your gut you know your lungs and your mind so um, these volatile oils uh, increase digestion clear up you know you know how turpentine will clean things so we're cleaning up the lymphatic system cleaning up the gut which affects the respiratory system and respiratory system of course with the breath affects the mind <clears throat> so you can make a wonderful tea from these needles you just simmer it for 10 minutes you know like you could take a branch this size and simmer it uh, for you know 10 minutes in maybe quart of water and that's super rich in vitamin C also you can also use the pitch I don't see any pot, uh, pitch in here but if you had a bad cough you can take some of the, the pine pitch and infuse that into water and that's really good for that it also is antiseptic antimicrobial antifungal so you can use it to heal wounds so wonderful medicine of the pine let's go look at another so another wonderful family of plants that are good for the respiratory system are the mint family so here i have lemon balm that i grew here from my garden and um, i think some of this also was some that was gifted from another herbalism student slash friend and um, lemon balm is you know anything that has Citrus is also going to be, we're going to talk about citrus in a minute, but that, that flavor, that's a terpene profile, you know, that lemony flavor, and lemon balm is also antiviral, so um, all of the mint family is going to be respiratory digestive neuroplasticizers, but there's also some very interesting mints, like Tulsi basil. Tulsi basil is a basil from India, so the whole uh, mint family, there's things like oregano, rosemary, thyme, basil, um, mint, agastache. Um, but here we have Tulsi basil. Tulsi is an adaptogen, so it'll help you, you know, the adaptogens help you deal with physical and emotional or mental stress, they're, um, you know, help you, your body be more adaptive at the same time as being good for your digestion, respiration, and consciousness. Here's another favorite of mine. I didn't grow, uh, harvest enough of this this year, so I uh, bought some. But Self Heal, or Prunella vulgaris, this is another adaptogenic mint family plant. That, um, you know, it's called self heal because it kind of has that vibration and energy of it, of like it will help you heal yourself. Um, and Prunella vulgaris, of the, you know, anything that's vulgaris is of the common people. <clears throat> so, this is a very common herb that was commonly used in a lot of blends just because it's so, it's a really good adaptogen, another good adaptogen in the mint family. Then we have here Agastache also known as bubblegum mint. I love this one as a tea. And the path is a liquidarian. The path of tea is a really great, you know, path for healing and utilizing all these respiratory herbs to develop the breath are really great. So Agastache is a wonderful flavored herb. And, you know, another just generically speaking kind of digestive respiratory uh, tonic and good for the brain. So here we have rosemary now as I mentioned a minute ago uh, this is another mint family plant you can identify the mint family because they generally have a square stalk might not be easy to pick up here in the video um, and strong 
uh, volatile oils or aromatic oils. Um, so, you know, a lot of those herbs I mentioned before, oregano, um, you know, basil, uh, rosemary, thyme, these are all uh, used as culinary herbs because they help improve digestion. Um, this also has a purple flower, so it has a correspondence with your crown chakra, sort of that indigo color. Um, and interestingly enough, just smelling rosemary is supposed to increase your memory by up to 70%. Of course, we have our mint here, mint, uh, just, you know, peppermint, spearmint. Um, these are all wonderful teas. Uh, if you ever have a belly ache, use some mint tea to calm your your digestion. Mint with lemon is a really great way um, to ease your digestion. And I just take all these things all the time to improve my breath. So another great terpene medicine uh, for respiratory and digestion, etc., of course, is citrus. So lemons, limes, oranges, all, you know, think of the way you can use a lemon to like clean your windows or to clean something that's really oily or greasy or sticky off. So it's that same thing with, uh, you know, sort of the breatharian science of juicing and using teas and fasting and so forth is as you fast and juice, you clean up the mucoidal placking and, uh, you know, make the digestion open up, you know, the belly, clean up, you know, cellular waste uh, and the lymphatic system, the connection with the lymphatic system. Um, so everything that goes in your mouth has to be processed by your lymphatic system. And then, of course, your eliminatory system. And once that gets plugged up, uh, then uh, your respiratory system and your brain get kind of plugged up with mucus, uh, sort of starting at the bottom of the tree and working up. So you can use these nice juices uh, to, um, you know, cleanse and wash away. I also like to powder the peel, the orange peel, or use orange peel in teas, the powdered stuff I can put in my family's food. You know, like you can make chocolates and like dust them with orange peel and that'll, you know, uh, help the medicinal value, help the digestion and respiration. So anyway, hope you got something from this, the path of terpenes for breatharianism and for healing the whole tree of your digestion, respiration and mind. God bless people.